15 point lead and this one gets away. What, what changed when you were ahead and why weren't you able to close this out? Um, I just feel like we were detailed enough in the second half. Um, first half, we came out with a sort of aggression that we needed to withstand for the rest of the, for the whole entire game. So, um, in order for us to be a team we want to be, um, we got to be able to withstand that aggression and attention to detail. How do you do that? And is this team capable of doing that at this point in the year? Uh, most definitely. Uh, moving forward, I think that, um, like I said before, we still have the, the guys still bought in the way, you know, Coach Rodman has set up for us. So um, I think we really got to execute. All right, from your vantage point, what was supposed to happen on that last sequence for you guys at the tournament? Um, maybe just not to let Galloway get downhill. He took right hand, even though that was one of his strong suits. So. Um, just a little mishaps, like a small attention to details we really should have um, did a lot better on. Um, and, you know, that's, we're number one in basketball, I'll about the corner and, you know, we made, we made a great shot. And then on the other end, and you guys, uh, I guess right before that, with Jameson with the turnover, Dale bringing in, uh, what was the play there for you guys? Um, that's one of our sets for our late game package, uh, get Jameson the ball. Um, they did a really good job trailing him. Um, made it really hard for him to make a catch. And then you know, that built a uh, great on-one defense. Obviously going to be you know, negative emotions, but what, can you describe what it was like in the locker room after this one? Um, it's just, you know, people, you know, we got the youngest team in, in the Big Ten, so you know, we got a lot of guys who get inside their heads. But, um, you know, it's an easy thing to like, you know, kind of correct. Um, a lot of manageable things that we did to lose to lose this game. Um, you know, we got a lot of uh, mistakes that we could have corrected. Um, so I feel like that was the only the only thing. Just to you know, everybody keep their heads up and, and stay together moving forward. Did you feel frustration at all start to set in as you know the lead started to fall there in the second half? Uh, absolutely, I felt frustration because um, in practice that, that, that's that's not who we are. Um, we don't get pumped by the other team. Uh, not the guys we have on our roster. So, um, of course, frustration settled in. Uh, they beat us well, 50-50 balls. Um, we started fouling. Uh, we started hitting shots, and we just wasn't, you know, detailed enough to be able to, to win, or detailed long enough to be able to win against a really good team. Thank you. Yeah, I know you guys are staying positive and trying to stay positive, but how much anger is there? Does this team need to get angry in certain situations and play with that kind of uh, nastiness? Or is that an issue? Or, or what's going on with these big leads sort of being lost? Um, I feel like we, we just can't let our uh, foot off the gas pedal. Uh, we kind of let them creep back into the into the game. And, and once they once they felt like they, they were able to, we gave them life. Uh, you know, anything is possible with a little bit of hope. So. Um, we just got to be able to, you know, keep applying pressure and and be able to close out games much better than what we have in the past. Uh, yeah, the offensive end of the second half, uh, obviously you guys were getting what you wanted in, in the first half, and then I think only Jameson scored more than four points. What was different, obviously, besides Indiana picking up defense, but what was different that was allowing you guys to, to score in the first, not the second? Um, obviously, Blair is a terrific shot blocker and, and protector. Even just his presence makes it um, incredibly difficult to be able to, you know, get easy scores. So, uh, him being in foul trouble in the first half was, you know, great for us because we were able to, to score in the paint a lot more easier, which allowed um, some of our outside shots to, you know, be able to be more, you know, open. So, I would say Blair was the um, key factor in you know, our defense. And when this has happened now. Obviously, the Penn State game will be the one talked about because it was also 18 points. But there's been a series of games where you've had the leads in the second half and either haven't closed or, or the other teams come close and then you get pulled out. Are you thinking about that either when you're on the court or maybe on the bench? Um, that, okay, it's starting to slip away. Is, is that in the back of your mind at all as, as a player? Um, kind of. Like, my, my mentality is next play. Um, obviously, you, you have those, those times kind of haunt you where. You know, we gave up an 18-point lead, so um, you're making your duty not to, not to, you know, relive that. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of in the back of your head, but um, just next play mentality, you're trying to, you know, make the next right play.
the one that we're out in the arena holding. All right, we've asked you about emotions and kind of what you feel. What What is your primary takeaway right now? Like, what? how is this sitting with you? This is five in a row, uh, eight of the last nine. Like, I, don't, I don't need to read off the numbers here, but you know that obviously this has been trending in the wrong direction for a while. What is your overwhelming feeling? What is kind of going through your head? How do you process where this team sits right now, given that you've talked about this is correctable stuff and you feel good about the guys in the locker room, but the results just aren't there? Um, I just think we got to stay with it. I mean, obviously, there needs to be a sense of urgency if we want to do what we all came in for. Um, if we want to win, we got to be able to you know, pick up stuff a lot quicker than we have. Um, like you said, we have a locker room for it. Uh, we just got to you know, execute. Thank you, Roddy.